This is Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Uh, today I would like to do some very simple demo about the initial configuration of a wireless LAN controller from Cisco Systems. Um, at the end you will see that uh, the whole process is very simple. So let's get started. The boot up of a controller will take some time. Um, so I would like to skip this uh, whole process and go to the configuration. At the end of the boot process, uh, you will be prompted with a configuration wizard. Uh, so you, you would like to terminate the auto install. Here you can in, uh, you can input the controller name, which here is WLC twenty five zero four, and then what you're going to do is to input the username and the user password. And note that uh, the Cisco cannot be the password for this user, so you have to use your imagination and uh, come up with something new. And then you need to input the management IP, uh, interface IP address, which here is uh, 192.168.10.1, and the net mask, and the default gateway. And also you can input the VLAN tag. So for the DHCP server IP address, I always use the uh, default gateway as a DHCP server. But if you have some other DHCP server in the network, uh, please use that one. And also input the name for the mobility and RF group. And also, uh, if you decide which SSID you are going to use, please configure here. In this case, uh, I'm using the IPv6 as the SSID name. And here is a country code. Uh, for Japan, please use J2 as a country code. Also, if you have a NTP server in your network, please configure here. If not, uh, you can configure the date and time manually here uh, in this in this process. And if the configuration is correct, please uh, input yes here, and the system will start to reboot. And this reboot process will take a while, so I would like to skip this uh, rebooting process as well. When the controller finishes rebooting, you should be able to log into the system with the username and password you configured in the initial configuration. When you finish the whole process of this initial configuration, uh, you should be able to access the controller from the GUI and uh, do, the con do the other configuration from there. Um, as you can see, uh, the whole initial configuration process is very simple. And thank you for watching this video.